Like if you um if you're comfortable using blocks, we have some blocks in the back if you have your own fantastic. Just remember to wipe them down before and after. Um, one thing I do like to use in this class is you to bring your own your own bib or strap. So you can use your distance fan, a belt, uh, a hand towel work. So things that you could you have around the house, even an old knee sock for work. So so don't let any of these props limit you to um, to being able to come to practice. I don't judge, use what you want, it's fine. So as long as it helps you, that's the benefit, that's what I want. All right. Otherwise, um, today especially, like all days, hydrate. So if you have water, please have it handy. You're welcome every 15 to 20 minutes to get your water. All right. Hydrate before, hydrate after, throughout the day, especially if you're active. And um, you can see, and you leave the ego at the door. All right. That's the one thing I don't want here. Leave the ego at the door. Remember to listen to your body, do what you can do. I know the fans are on back there. It might be hard to hear me. So can you all hear me? All right. Can you hear the music? Is it too loud? No? A little loud? You're good. Okay. So you're fine. You can hear good. All right. So I'll leave it at that so that we're not, not fighting with music and me and a fan. Or fans. You're right behind. All right. You're right in front of the fan. So, yeah, it's not as loud as that one. All right. Okay, again, if you um, just joined us, I'm Angie. This is Chair Yoga. I have a block if you can, and I like to use them for, uh, for posture, so my is good posture. And sometimes I'll use one for some of the poses. Uh, one other thing I like to have is, and remember to wipe them down before and after, I use a strap. Again, it could be a resistance band, it could be a hand towel, uh, uh, an old knee sock <laughs> might work well. Uh, so, so don't be limited by, by what you think it should look like. It could be almost anything. All right, welcome everyone on, oh, hey Catherine, glad you're here. Welcome to everyone on Zoom. And thank you so much for coming and joining us here at Time Plus. All right. One thing I like to do is take off my shoes so that I can root into the floor. All right, no need for weight. No need for weight. Not even this box. We don't use weight in, in yoga. We use our own body to stone. So just a block. And if you brought your strap. Find yourself comfy, comfortably seated in your chair, knowing that um, the chair is also a prop. We can use it while we stand. So we don't necessarily have to sit the entire time. But if you feel like you need to sit throughout the entire practice, you're welcome to. You can rest during some of these poses that we do that are standing, that there is no modification for a seated position. So just learn that you can rest. At any point, there should be no pain in this practice at all. All right, yoga does not believe in pain. It, means, it believes that pain is communication. 
showing you that you need to adjust or modify, oppose, adjusting your body and working with it, right? not against it. So punching, popping sound is fine, just no pain. Good? All right. So once you found that comfortable seated position, press the feet into the floor about parallel to each other. I like knees over ankles. And just start to press your feet into the floor. Just notice the legs, the quads, the glutes begin to engage. You even feel like the torso is lifting, reaching up a little bit taller, higher. Now arms come out, deep breath in, reach up, and exhale palm down onto the side. Shoulders back. Lift up again. Notice the posture. Notice the breath. Inhaling in and out through the nose. Focusing on three part breathing. Your chest lifts on the inhale, the belly extends. On the exhale, the chest drops, the belly button stretches in. Continuing with this motion, inhale in through the nose, full air coming in. Exhale, warm, humid air. All that you don't need, your body doesn't want anymore. Inhale in, feel the shoulders rise, the heart lift. Exhale, chest drop, shoulders drop, belly pressing back. Allow the hands to begin to relax into the thighs. Palms are up or down. A mudra, if you wish, peace mudra, meditation mudra, water mudra, whatever elements that you prefer. Begin to close your eyes on your neck, exhale. And if that is not comfortable, just gently gaze down at the floor, eyelids heavy. Listen to the breath. The three part breathing. Removing all of your thoughts. Directing the mind inward. Focusing on the breath. The breath is primary. All poses are secondary. The breath must flow effortlessly to transitions and poses. Maybe setting intentions for yourself. 
to someone else, a nation, a community. Breathing in that intention, and perhaps carrying out all that you don't need, all that floods the mind, the least in it. And your arms from out, lift up the arms, reach up, looking up. Exhale, hands come down, side to side, press the feet to the floor, sit up in. This is a foundational pose. You'll find it in almost every pose we do in some form or fashion. Engaging the legs, finding the support. From fingertips down, head up, press and move the feet to the floor. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, hands come down onto the thighs. Lift up the heart. Exhale, chin to chest. Start your neck rotation. That means just an inch or two to begin with. Inhaling towards the shoulder. Exhaling, chin to chest. And then inhaling to the other shoulder. Progressively, maybe getting a little closer to the shoulder with the chin. And you're welcome to stay in one spot where you feel tension. And then move on when you're ready. On your next exhale, bring chin to chest. Arms come out, little step, reach up, deep breath in. Exhale, slowly begin to bring palms together, elbows together. Passing the hands to begin your wrist rotation. All the way around, palms are together. There you go, good. Do that kind of maze at night. Circle the viewers. And then rotate in the other direction. Exhale, bring the roots down, deep breath in. Lift up, reach up. Extend fingertips up and try and reach to the stars. Breathe. Palms come together and gently move side to side. Exhaling as you bend, inhaling as you lift up. Take your time. Inhaling, press. You can hear, feel each vertebra lifting up. Dropping your left hand down, bring the right over, lift the heart, three, two, three. Inhale, pass, switch hand, lift the heart, then exhale, over, press the shoulder blade down. Three. Inhale, palm, lift up, three, exhale, push. To the left, bringing your right hand to the thigh, left hand to the chair. Notice your posture, still listen tall. Exhale, maybe things look back over your left shoulder. Unwind, realign the spine, lifting the arms up, 
Exhale to the right, left hand to right thigh, right hand to there. Notice the posture. Breathe. Maybe the chin looks back over the right shoulder. Inhale, unwind, realign, exhale, push to the other side. Maybe a little deeper. Find your edge. Deep breathing. Inhale, unwind, realign, exhale, over. Again, find your edge, press your feet to the floor, keep that alignment. Inhale, unwind, realign, nice and tall, elbows bend, arms back. Here with chest open, shoulder blades press back. Exhale, press the feet to the floor and come forward. Just about 30 degrees. Breathe. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lift the heart, elbows back. Slight back bend. Keep breathing. Inhale, realign the spine. Pulse, good posture, arms come up. Exhale. On dive, prepare posture. And come to the knees, extend the tailbone back towards your block, pop the head towards me, eyes look down, and breathe. Arms come out, reverse to on dive, coming back up, lifting up. Breathe, exhale, hands come down, press your right foot to the floor, and begin to extend the left. Keeping good posture, point, flex. Rotate all the way around in one direction. Find the hopping, totally fine, just no pain. And reverse, deep breathing. Your breath is more important than the pose. Press through the heel, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale it down. Shake it out. Ready? Press that right or left foot to the floor. Knee, left knee over ankle. Good posture. Extend through the right. Press through that right heel. And then point left to forward. Working here. Breathe. And rotate all the way around. Reverse the direction. Press through the heel, lift up a little bit higher. Feel the work in your core and your leg. Exhale it down, shake it out. Windshield wiper. Two knees to one side, then the other. Notice how the hips feel. And back up, good transition point to get water. If you need water, hydrate. So welcome to get some water. When you're ready, finding yourself position, we're going to begin our opposite limb extension, lifting up through the top of the head. Find that proper seated position, comfortably situated, secure. Pressing your right foot to the floor, right arm lift, extend the left leg. Breathe, forward strong. Exhale, we're going to extend the right arm to the left toe. Breathe, holding it there, lift that, notice the work in the right leg, right foot. Exhale, one more time. And lift up. Exhale, out to the side. You're welcome to support the leg with a strap of your hand. Breathe. 
come back, and exhale down. So we get out, ready? Deep breath in, exhale, blending breath out the mouth. Inhale, left arm comes up, left foot is strong. Prepare that left foot. And then extend the right heel, breathe. Exhale out to the side, trying to keep that left knee over left ankle. Breathe. Inhale back to center. Exhale it down. Holding the chair, we're going to extend the toes out. And tap it out. Just notice the core. We're starting to work the core. Keep focusing a little bit on the core today. Breathe. And lift up just the right leg. Breathe. Maybe the left, just notice. Posture is still good, still lifting tall. Exhale out to the side. Breathe. And down to center. And down, shake it out. You're going to find a block. Use the block behind you if you'd like. Or if you have a second one, you're welcome to place it between the legs. If you have a second block, you're welcome to use it. In front of you for your feet, you might see why. All right, so holding that block in between. Just notice the activation of the legs as you press into the block. All right, your feet are pressing into the floor. Once your feet start to engage the floor, you'll notice the glutes begin to engage, the pelvic floor begins to engage. This alone is a good exercise to do. To begin to tone those muscles. All right. Anyone know what incontinence is? Happens to a lot of women. This alone should be a good exercise. All right. That you can just place between your legs and watch TV. Breathe this block. <laughs> yes, it's true. I mean, it's funny, but it's true. You can do this exercise. All right. And relax the legs. Notice how everything else relaxes. Mm. All right, we're going to grab onto the chair, lift the heart to the top, and now press into that block. Breathe, so lift up your heel, let right leg will come up. Really start working that right side. Maybe the left, three, maybe not. And then it's out. Just notice the work. All right, to do this best, I like to come forward and angle back so that I have more balance between the upper part of my body and the lower part of the body. So I'll recline slightly back. And then bring up one foot, then the other. Adjust yourself and find that position that, where you feel a little bit more balanced. Good. This is where that block might help so that you can just place your toes on that and not have to come all the way down. You still get some work. If you have that elevation of the feet, just not as intense. So deep breath in, lift one or two or none. All right, heart lift, maintain good posture even here. All right, try not to bring the neck back too high, keep it in good alignment. Breathe, squeeze the block. Exhale down. Take a deep breath in, arms come up, stretch out the back, stretch out the belly. Again, there should be no pain, no sensitivity in your lower back. All right, that's why we hold the chair, it helps to support the back, especially if it's sensitive or tender or it just needs that CO2. All right, deep breath in, squeeze the block, good. And slowly, maybe one foot lift. Maybe the other start to recline, find that balance between upper and lower body. Maybe the feet come forward. Even if you're not squeezing the block, your legs are working so it doesn't fall out. So even that low intensity squeeze to the block, again, you must be able to breathe effortlessly. So if you cannot, bring the feet down. 
Exhale, sit down. Lift up, stretch it out. Exhale down. All right, let's remove that block. We're going to do it without the block. You can definitely use that block for the floor if you prefer. All right, last time. Go do it with me, boy. All right, lift up tall, shoulders back, recline to where you need to be. And then, ready, come forward. Notice how this feels, deep breath in, maybe the lower leg lifts a little bit more. Your body is kind of like a V shape, as the knees are up higher than the hips. Breathe. This is our Navasana, boat pose. Heart must lift. You must be able to support the lower back. So use your arms if you feel that it needs more support. Bend the knees and come down. Shake it out. Breathe. Arms come up. Reach up. Stretch out the belly, the lower back. Exhale, come forward. Prepare posture. Stretch your lower back. Be as dynamic as you wish, moving side to side, stretching the tailbone or pelvis back and forward, movement side to side, finding that best stretch for you. Maybe even using a block to support your torso with your arms. We're going to come into a full forward fold. If you know that you need to maintain the head above the heart for any heart issue, please do so. Otherwise, for a full forward fold, allow the head to drop down. Hands can reach for a block to the legs, the feet, and allow the head to completely relax, the shoulders relax. Now you need to move the head side to side. Press the tailbone back closer to the chair. Allow the shoulders to drop deeper, opening up and decompressing the vertebrae just a little bit more. Inhale, slowly slide the hands up to the knees or to a block. Shoulders lift, torso parallel to the floor. Arms come out, reverse swan dive, lifting up, breathe. Exhale, palm down onto the thighs. Now slide elbows to the middle of your thigh. Palms are down and parallel to the floor. Engage your legs. Remember that foundational pose, Tadasana, mountain pose. It's always present in so many of these poses. And slowly lift the heart, shoulder blades back. You're going to get a gentle curve of your back, working that back, lower back, middle back, extending through the front of the body. Exhale, bring shoulders down, head down, relaxing the torso, slide hands to the thighs. Elbows are right next to the ribs. We're going to come into cobra. If sync was just your intensity, then you can welcome to stay in sync and bring elbows down to the side. Otherwise, lift the heart up, keep the elbows bent, because you're going to go a little bit deeper in this stretch, deeper in this toning of the lower back. Breathe. Shoulder blades back, really press them back. Focus on opening up the chest. Holding it here, breathing. Exhale, shoulders come forward, slide elbows to the middle of the thigh, relax the back, gently move side to side. 
allow yourself to come into forward fold unless you need to stay in prepared posture. Breathe, exhale, all the way down. Move side to side. Inhale, hands come to knees, arms come out, slowly lift up, deep breath in, and into prayer. Breathe. All right, so it's transition time for water, so we're going to come into standing poses. So get your water and then we'll stand. Standing poses. So if you are comfortable standing, you're welcome to come behind your chair. If you wish to stay seated, I'll do my best to modify these poses for you. And once you've got a hold of the chair, just take a step back as far as you can without releasing the chair. We're coming into a wide-legged forward fold. So if you have blocks, you're welcome to use those, especially if you're in chair. Open up nice and wide. Feet are parallel to each other. Okay, engage the legs, but try not to lock the knees. So bend those knees ever so slightly. Feel the glutes engage, quadriceps engage, breathe. Now with this sort of engagement, you come forward, Torso comes over the back of your chair, maybe even using the seat of the chair for support, and lift the tailbone up as high as it's comfortable for you. Breathe your torso turning parallel to the floor. Holding onto the chair with just the right hand. We're going to bring the left hand to the hip. And then we bring the heart to the left side. Try and keep the hip parallel. Breathe. A gentle twist here. You're also feeling it in the leg. Come back to center. Bring the left hand to the chair, right hand to the hip. Again, you're welcome to hold it however it's comfortable for you to be able to twist your heart towards the left side, to the right side, excuse me. Breathe. Keep the right hip down. Try and keep right side of the hip, left side of the hip parallel, equal on the same plane. Come back to center. Bend the knees. Release the hamstring, good. And then lift up, arms come up. You're welcome to hold the chair if you need to. Arms come out, five-pointed star. Lift up, reach up, good. Exhale, bring hands forward, knees come together. Shake it out. Yes, it opens up hips, it opens up the inner thigh muscle. So if you haven't done this in a while, you may be feeling it. All right, good. Next, we to do chair pose. All right, this is a leg strengthener. So we do a little bit of basic leg strengthening with wide legs and trying to bend those knees. You are staying balanced here. Now we're gonna bring those legs together and still focus on those legs. So what we're going to do, I'll do a side view. Is the feet are about parallel to each other. Think of Tadasana. Your knees are slightly bent, shins are forward. Four is strong, shoulders back, breathe. 
And we're going to exhale, bring that tailbone back and down. Now, if you have any pain in the knees, maybe do this seated. If you're seated, no, you don't have a block. So I would have said use a block. Can you feel that engagement of your legs? So trying to engage your legs when you do this. For those standing, you're going to feel your heels rooting, pressing in. All right, if you're feeling it in your toes, you're too far forward. So you need to feel it more in the heels. Breathe. All right, you're going to feel the work right here, medial glutes, the glutes, squeezing. Now you're still got good posture, so your shoulders are back, your heart's still lifting. Breathe. Inhale, lift up and grab your block. That block is going to go between those two, your two legs. And you're going to squeeze that block. All right. We're going to squeeze that block. And that block is going to just remind us to keep those legs super stable, keep them parallel to each other. Right, and always mind your knees when you do this. If we come too low and your knees are feeling a lot of pressure and some pain, come right back up and come into your chest. So deep breath in, squeeze those legs, feel that block in there. Same idea, good posture. We're going to bring that tailbone back and down. The knees are going to be slightly over in, in front of the heels. So just be mindful of your knees. There is pressure in your knees. Now squeeze that block, feel the glutes engage. Breathe. Now if you are feeling okay, not completely comfortable, if you're not comfortable, bring up one arm. Where's that upper body? Maybe the other. Balance pose here. Hold it. Squeeze those glutes. Come down just another inch. Oh yeah, breathe, breathe. Maybe your legs are shaking. This is normal. Lift up, reach up, grab your chair, and come off your heels. Bend your knees slightly and back down. Remove that block. Block made it harder. You have to think about keeping it there. Yes. So take out those legs. Move the block. All right, we won't use the block this time. We'll do it again. But we're going to add a twist, literally. So even in here, add that twist. Deep breath in. Exhale, bring that tailbone back down to your chair. Pose. Bring your right hand to the right hip. And gently bring the heart around to the right side. Now try and... Notice your knees, they should be in the same spot, parallel on the same plane. So your left knee should be forward of the right. So press that left knee back and then twist. Breathe. Squeeze those glutes. Unwind back to center. Go same here. Twist to the left. Try and keep that right knee. In line with the left. Breathe. Hold it there. Squeeze the glutes. And back to center. Lift up. Shake it out. Are you happy you're by the fence? <laughs> All right. All right, next one is tree pose. All right, now we, we're working on strengthening those legs. There's a bit of fatigue, so acknowledge there is some fatigue while we do this next pose. This can be difficult on your balance. So we're just to listen to the body. If you need to, if you know your balance is off today already, you can bring your chair up to a wall and then have support in two different positions, right? Chair and wall. All right, so I'm just going to go to the side so you can see me best. Find your Tadasana standing or seated. 
press those feet to the floor, knees slight bend to the shins are forward, core is strong, shoulders back, breathe. All right, we're going to start with lifting the right leg. So that left leg really engages you to the floor. It will be your root. Right heel comes up. You're still lifting tall, good posture. This is all important for balance. All right, you need that center of gravity here. If you come forward, it lifts up. It's not in the center of the body anymore. Now your center of gravity is up too high and you're not balanced. So try and keep that center of gravity right here. Lift up maybe, and then out to the side. If you're in chair, just put the toe down and have that open hip position. Good. Breathe. For those standing, you're welcome to place that toe on the floor, sliding it to the ankle or lifting it off the floor. Maybe can bring up to the top. Now again, notice the hip opener. Notice that knee out. The lifting tall. Notice the work in your left leg. All right, glutes are strong. Core is so strong. Shoulders are back. The head is lifting. Think of me pulling on a string on the top of your head. Breathe. Maybe one arm comes up. Or maybe a half prayer, whatever is easiest. You might want to keep center of gravity down. Otherwise, you can lift. If you're feeling great balance today, maybe full prayer or full food. Breathe. Remember fatigue, already there. Come back to center, down into prayer, knee forward, and out. Take it. Good balance work. Brushing your feet. Huh? Three minutes. Brushing feet. Each side. <laughs> All right, next side. Here we go. Sadasana. Deep breath in. Good posture. Remember to bend those knees slightly. Your right leg is strong now. It is moving. Remember, everything has to start with a root. Plant must root before they can come up. Lift up the left heel. Lift up maybe the knee and the foot and come out to the side. Notice the hip. Trying to keep their position. And then for the seated, just bring that foot down, holding it there, keeping that open foot position. For those standing, you're welcome to just slide it to the ankle, maybe lift it up a little bit higher, but never on the knee. Breathe. And then maybe into prayer, half prayer. Focus on your core, focus on your posture. Maybe lifting up one branch or maybe two. So just notice how each side can be so different. One might be easier than the other. Breathe. That challenge is when there's a breeze that comes through and sways that tree. That's a challenge. Lift up tall, strong, exhale, hand to prayer, knee comes forward, grab the chair, shake it out. Whew. How's everyone feeling? Okay. Let's just rotate those hips, find the least tension in there. Both directions. Go as far as you can. You find where that tension is. And go, okay, there you are. Just, just stretch through it and keep going. So do your back. Maybe you feel the back. And lift up when you're ready. All right, forward fold. 
Again, prepare posture if that's where you need to be. Deep breath in, arms come up, raise up. Exhale, come forward. Prepare posture. And switch forward, forward. You might move the feet back, that's fine. And then bring your hands and guide them down the stair. Maybe if you're comfortable, your hands can come to the lower part of the chair, the legs, or even the floor. Bending the knee one at a time. Deep breath in, just keep moving the hips side to side, stretching the back of the leg, going as low as is comfortable for you. Bending one knee at a time, trying to straighten the other. If you feel comfortable, grab an opposite elbow. This is called the rag ball. It helps to kind of pull the spine a little bit closer to the floor. Lift the tailbone up and help to decompress the spine, the vertebra. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Notice the weight on the feet. See if you can evenly distribute it from toe to heel. Bend the knees, nab the chair, walk yourself up. Take your time, take your time. Let the blood flow back, slowly back down, out of the head. And exhale into chair. Take it out. All right, we're passing to our chair. Well, it uh, won't to get water. So it's kind of the point to get water as well if you need water. So a deep breath in. Arms come up, raise up. And exhale, come behind you. You can easily pivot around, I think. If it's easier for you, full or reverse prayer. All right, in reverse prayer, we see about bringing hands together. If you cannot bring your hands together, you're welcome to use this strap. And just hold this strap. And then we're going to open up the chest. Notice your posture. All right, shoulders are up and back, heart is lifting. And we're going to slowly start to bring the fingertips to the tailbone. All right, again, try not to crunch forward, still keep good posture. And then we're going to maybe bring those fingertips a little bit higher. Maybe lift up a little bit more. See about bringing those palms together, though. This really opens up the carpal tunnel, the wrist area, stretching out that forearm. Again, bring those elbows back. Find your reverse prayer. Breathe. Lift up to the top of the head. Exhale everything out the mouth. Maybe even close your eyes for a moment, focusing on that intention you may have set. Four is strong. Feet are still rooted. And when you're ready, exhaling, start bringing the fingers down, slowly extending the arms, bringing them out to the side. Thumbs are up. Now bring the thumbs back. Good. Press back, opening up the shoulders. Bring the thumbs up towards me and then down to the floor. Yeah. So we're rotating that humerus bone completely in its socket. See if you can come all the way back. Bringing that thumb as far back as possible. 
So fully rotating that arm. Not the wrist, not the elbow, but the arm right here. Breathe, stretching out the muscles that connect the ligaments, the tendons. Breathe through that. And relax, come, bring hands forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades apart, chin to chest. Inhale, hands down to the knees. At cow. <clears throat> So hands are on the knees, lift up tall, shoulder blades back, exhale, chin to chest, belly button back, extending the arms, stretch the spine, create that curve, inhale, tall, bring the hands back behind you, grab the chair, and then come forward with the heart, reversing the position of the spine. Inhale, tall, exhale, belly button back, shoulders forward, chin to chest. Inhale, tall, and now cow. Exhale, heart forward, chin lift, shoulders back. Inhale, tall, breathe, arms come forward. And exhale, right arm comes under the left. Maybe you grab shoulders. Maybe the forearms come together. And maybe the uh, hands might meet. Just how ego um, I was opening up the back. Lifting up. You just stretch a little bit more. Breathe. Exhale, unwind, lift up, and the same thing, except now that the opposite arm comes under. So again, maybe just reaching shoulders is enough. Otherwise, maybe you can reach four arms together, or hands might reach this time. Again, each one can be so different. Three, feel that opening in the back. The shoulder blades separating, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, release, arms come out, reach out, and relax. Breathe. Find a strap if you have one. If not, don't worry. We're going to bring the right knee in, squeeze it in. We're going to extend that leg forward, breathe. Lift up tall, exhale out. Come back to center. And then if you have the bench, just switch the handle and then try and bring that leg over the leg. See what stretch through the IC band. Breathe. You can add the twist here, bringing the arm around and facing the side of the extended leg. Lift up tall, come back, unwind, bend the knee, lift. Up higher and extend. Woo. Breathe. Bend the knee. Pigeon pose. So you can place the side of the foot onto the floor, onto a block to lift it up, or maybe onto the side. Again, there should be no pain in your knee, no pain in the hip, or no pain in the ankle. All right, so lift the tall, shoulders back, exhale, come forward. Feeling that stretch in your hips, breathe. Remember to breathe. I'm not going to come on.
Lifting up tall, reaching up at the top of the head. Inhale, bring that knee in. Point flex the toes, rotate, flip both directions. And then bring that knee out, back in, extend, and drop it down. Take it out. Opposite leg, bring that leg in, squeeze it in. And then if you have a strap, you're welcome to use that. And then extend the leg, breathe, lifting up five to ten. Using the same side hand, extend that leg out. Try and keep your right leg planted, breathe. Lift up tall. Come back to center, switch sides, and again, just a gentle pressure on that IT band, stretching it out. So good posture. Back to center, ready for pigeon on this side, squeeze it in. Maybe onto the floor, onto a block, or onto your side. Lifting up tall. Notice there should be no pain. The knee, the ankle, the hip. Hinging at the hip, come forward. Breathe. Nice deep breath in, lengthen the spine, and then on the exhale, lift up. Shoulders up and back. Bring that knee in. Squeezing the thigh to the abdominal region, point flex, rotate the foot both ways. Bring the leg out to the side and back in. Stand and shake it up. Breathe. Lift up tall, arms come up, exhale down, arms up onto the thigh, find your Shavasana. So time to start to relax. If you need water, get a little sip of water. Otherwise, make sure that you feel comfortable in your chair, your feet positioned comfortably, equally to each other. You're welcome to close your eyes. And if that's not comfortable, gazing gently down. You are welcome to come into a mood there. Take a deep breath in and a cleansing breath out to me. Feel the shoulders drop, the belly press back. One more time and maybe deeper. Allow the face to relax, the eyes, the cheeks, the jaw. Notice if you're clenching your teeth. Relax the tongue, the throat, the neck, the shoulders. Feel the arms heavy beside you. Hands surrendering into the side.
Deep breath in. Notice the heart lift. Exhale. Feel the heart drop. Inhale, arms come up, reaching up. Arms come together. Elbows side to side, relax. Shoulders relax. But now we see all that you were able to do this past hour with gratitude, knowing that it is enough, that you are enough. You are important because you are unique. There is no one else like you. Millions of years it took to create you. Finding acknowledgement in the fact that you are important. That light, which is you, I see and I am. Thank you for coming today. Namaste. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, everyone on Zoom and on Facebook. Appreciate it.